your statement is that Chrissy uh, was actually taking up for you specifically because no one knew. I th well, I'm not going to say no one. People who were following what was going on at that time seven years ago, they yeah. I'm sure they knew. But, um, yeah. you know, for us who are so, some people who are finding out about all of this right now, we didn't know what was the big thing. Why was she so, you know, angry at him? And did she have something you know, proof, like something solid to base this on. She was yes. basing her statement on your situation. Yes, that comment, that original comment when she replied to him like, oh, so you're just going around doing all kind of racist stuff. Your, you know, career is about to be over. She had said that under the video that I posted of the store owner um, witnessing the whole racial slur thing and everything like that. So I literally in the video was like, did you hear Michael Costello call me the N-word? And he was like, yes. So it was that video and she made that comment and like tagged him under that specific video. So she didn't, I mean, I can't really, you know, defend her and the, in in the things that she's done in the past and the people that she's hurt in the past. But in this particular situation, I could speak on it because I was there. And it definitely wasn't just like woke up one day and decided to, you know, pick on Michael Costello. It definitely was, she saw the video and she was like, wait, what? And she tags him like, this is ridiculous. Your your career is about to be over, type of thing. So that's where it, it veered 